Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to use do while and do until loops in VBA in Excel. So let's get started. Here I have these 10 numbers and I will also open the VBA editor by pressing Alt F11 and here I have inserted a module 1. Now using these numbers let me demonstrate how to use do while loop in VBA in Excel. So let's start a sub do loop and let's first talk about the syntax. The syntax of do loop is that you start with do then you have either while or until and then you have the condition then you have the statement here or the code here that you want to run and then you end with loop. So if you want to read more about do while loop or do until loop, uh, go here, press between in anywhere here in do and press F1. It would open the help here. I've already opened the help. So this is what it looks like. And let's go through the syntax quickly. It says do and then I have while or until. You would use one of these keywords. It would be either do while or do until. And then I would have the condition and when that condition is met it would come down and execute the statements that are mentioned and if you want you can also exit this loop by by typing exit do and I'll show you how it works and then finally we have loop similarly you can also have do first then the ex statements are executed and then you check for the condition later with the loop so let's go back and let's see how it works so here I would do one thing what I am trying to do here is I would select this cell and I want to select the cell below it until it, there is a blank cell and as soon as it encounters a blank cell it should stop it should come out of the loop so to do that we would write the statement do while active cell dot value is not blank so do this while this is not blank and then here the condition or the statement would be active cell dot offset on what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to select the next cell in the next row I would say one comma zero dot select and then we would have loop here now let's quickly go through this uh, do loop I would press F8 to step into this it comes here it checks for this condition it is true it executes this and this cursor comes here and then it again loops back and when I keep on doing this you can see that this cursor is coming down let me quickly come to 10 and now it goes back again it checks for 10 it's still valid it comes here executes this again goes back but now when it's here this condition would fail and then it would come out of the loop so this is how you can use a do while loop now let's do one thing let's copy this part and put it with loop here now the difference between putting your condition with the do as compared to putting the condition with with loop is that here the statement would ex execute at least once so if you run this code it would come to do there is no condition it would come come to this statement this would be executed and then the condition would be checked earlier it would first check the condition then go to the statement if it's true else it exits the loop so let's see what I mean by this I would again come back here I would press Alt F11 to get into the editor mode. Oops. And now let's go through this. I would press F8. It comes down here. And now it checks for the condition here and gets out of the loop. Now you may think that these two these two conditions and putting the condition here with do as compared to putting the condition with loop are actually doing the same thing in this case it is but let's take some other example let me select this cell uh, a14 and now let's go through this first I would copy this and put it with the do and uh, see what happens when I run this code I press F8 it comes here and it checks for this condition and this condition is not true so it would not execute this line not even once it would simply exit the loop but now let's do one thing let's copy and paste it with the loop here and now when I execute this it comes here but there is no condition so it would have to execute this line at least once it comes to the line it goes to a15 and then it checks for the condition this condition is not met so it exits the loop 
So you can see the difference while the condition was here, the statement was never executed. But in this case, it is executed at least once. Now let's see how we can use exit do statement. Let's say you want to check for another condition here. It could be say if active cell dot value is greater than five, then exit do. And uh, as this as this is self-explanatory, exit do would exit this do loop. So let's run this. I would select A1, and now I would start pressing F8 to step into this code. I come here and it would execute this line at least once because there is no condition. I would go down, it checks for this condition uh, and now it is again coming back to if. It checks this, it is still false, it comes here, brings the cursor down and then again keep on checking these conditions. And it comes here at 6. Now when it goes back, this the active cell dot value is 6 which is greater than 5. So it would jump to exit 2 and from here it would jump to a jump out of this loop. So this is how you can use exit do statements within do loops. Now uh, while and until has a very minor difference and which is actually uh, in uh, the syntax or in the name this is executed while this condition is true but if you put until here then it would be executed until this condition is true. Now if I run this it would get into an infinite loop. If I delete this it would get into an infinite loop because if I select this cell say and if I run this it would keep on running because it says until this cell is not equal to blank and this cell will not be equal to blank all these uh, cells are blank here below this so I need to change this condition I need to say until this is equal to blank and now when I run this I've just made a simple thing while it was do while this active cell dot value is not equal to blank it was fine but when I use do until I need to ch change the condition until this is equal to blank and now it would work the same way let's go through this quickly I would press F8 to step through this code it would go down keep on going down and now when it comes here it would come here and check do until this is equal to blank and now it is so it would not execute this and it would go out of the loop. So this is the basic difference between while and until. Uh, again this is something of a personal preference you can choose to uh, use any of these and you can also use exit do statement within do statements. So this is how you can use do while and do until loops in VBA in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you and have a nice day.